Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of February 2023. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them all out in the monthly forecast. So let's see what's going on with Cancer. We start off with your overall energy and move on to week by week. So overall energy cancer, you have the 10 of wands in the reverse position. Indicating this month, it looks like you will be relieved from some type of oppressive burden. For some of you, you've been perhaps for a while now, a couple weeks, couple months for some of you, have been doing a double duty. Now, this uh, 10 of wands in the upright position is where we're sort of covering for someone else. Say our co-worker is on an extended vacation or health leave or something like that. And we're picking up the slack as well as doing our own stuff. It could be that a neighbor has been out of town for a while and you've been looking after their their home or their pet or something like that. Whatever the situation is, <clears throat> you could have been overworked at work itself. But when the card is reversed, this is where something is going to be giving this month. So this is either you will be relieved of some excess duty you've been dealing with lately, or it could be that you finished up a project or something. If this was around the home and you've been, you know, moving or renovating or doing something like that, it could be that it's finally coming to an end and you will be relieved of this excess burden. If you've been covering for a coworker, a family member, a friend, this is you finally being released from that because the situation has been resolved. So nice. I always like to see that 10 of wands in reverse and knowing that we're finally relieving some of those burdens. Um, right at the beginning of the week, we do have the Eight of Cups in reverse, rooted down by the Two of Swords reversed. So the Eight of Cups in the reverse position indicates um, that we could be looking to the past for some kind of opportunity. Now, the Eight of Cups in the upright, which I always call, bye Felicia, we're, we're moving on to something different because we're looking for that emotional satisfaction, right? Which we come across in the story of the tarot to the Nine of Cups. But when the card is inverted like this this is where we're looking for some emotional validation or some type of emotional renewal that we had in the past now some people get their emotional fulfillment from obviously from relationships so some of you if you're single and looking this could be that you're looking to see if there's an opportunity that was there in the past that once brought you great emotional fulfillment for others of you this could be looking to the past for um, perhaps a career or a job that you did in the past that brought great emotional fulfillment. It could be a hobby for others of you. You're just looking to the past. To, I used to be really happy when I did that certain thing or when I hung out with that group of people, that kind of thing. It's just feeling like I think I need to, you know, bring that emotional fulfillment to me by you know, filling it with X, Y, Z. It could be, you know, a love interest from the past that, you know, you really miss that person. Could be a friends group, could be, you know, again, these are just general reads. So you get what I'm talking about. Just take what makes sense in your scenario. It's rooted down here with the two of swords reversed, indicating a decision is going to be made in week one as to what to do. So this could be you returning back to something that brought great emotional fulfillment and you have decided to do it. There is no facilitating back and forth. You've just decided to do it. This is the two of swords in reverse means I've made this decision. I have enough information now that I need in order to make a firm and um, informed decision. And I have it now. So I'm going to be doing that. Moving on to week two, we have the Page of Pentacles here in the upright, rooted down by the Knight of Pentacles. So these are both um, <clears throat> Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Page of Pentacles can sometimes represent a younger person. Sometimes they can represent like a, a scholarship. Maybe a younger person is getting a scholarship in your family. Um, and they're communicating to you. They could be needing your assistance in some way, financial assistance for some of you. For others of you, if you are a younger uh, cancer, this could be you getting accepted in as um, uh, maybe you're the one getting a scholarship or you could be completing some kind of course and now you're ready to be, you know, an intern or you're ready for that, <clears throat> that, um, 
apprentice type of uh, job. And the good news is, if that's the case, the Knight of Pentacles um, is represented. For some of you, if you've just completed a course in something, you could get offered a job right away. For others of you, this could be uh, perhaps you hear news or information about, you know, pentacles represent the tangible things, the material side of life. You could be hearing about a job and perhaps you apply for it right away and you, you know, you're offered something. For others of you, it could be about a home. Perhaps you hear about a perfect apartment or a perfect home and you decide to go for it and you put in the offer and boom. Or, you know, somebody could be putting in an offer to your home so that you can move right away interesting moving on to week three we have the eight of wands and the upright rooted down by the four of swords reversed now the eight of wands and the upright position points to arrows of love find their mark it also can point to uh fast and sudden um, communication fast and sudden uh, travel perhaps all of a sudden you get news that maybe for some of you you're being offered uh, a job somewhere else and you have to all of a sudden jump on a plane or you know take a trip somewhere to go uh, you know to go for the interview or something like that for others of you this could be uh, a new person who has entered your life maybe this person is the salt of the earth a really really solid person and perhaps what they're having to offer you is something that you're interested in and there could be communication going back and forth the arrows of love find their mark where you can't stop communicating with one another for others of you uh, this could be um, perhaps you've put in an offer to move somewhere else maybe this is a home offer and you have decided to sell your house and move somewhere else and this could be you all of a sudden okay I got an offer on my house so I'm moving right away and the four of swords is in reverse position indicating this is the rest period is over four of swords in the upright position points to that sort of where we're pushing the world away because we need to heal we need to have a mental health day we need to have a spa day we need to recover from a physical problem we could be needing to recover from an emotional problem such as a breakup or something like that where we hide ourselves away we just need some healing time when the card is reversed we no longer need to do that so this is about if you have been sort of laying low lately cancer this could be all of a sudden jumping on a plane and needing to get moving again so you could be doing that or you could just be needing to travel for work or because a new opportunity has come up or even for love too it could be a relationship situation and the last week we have major arcana high priestess rooted down by the the cute little page of cups <laughs> high priestess in the upright position points to that hidden knowledge it also points to needing to listen to your gut feeling about something you are a water sign, which gives you that sort of intuitive edge here, uh, Cancer. So listen to your gut feeling about something. If there is something that you feel rumbling, maybe you feel like that person that you're interested in is also interested in you, then take a chance and go with it because maybe they are with the Page of Cups. Um, this can also be where you... You know, you just said something is going on, but you're not sure what it is. You can't put your finger on it. The thing about the high priestess is we need to listen to our intuition, our gut feeling. Because nobody can really tell us if you're sensing something, feeling something, feeling some kind of way. Well, you know, maybe do some meditation. For those of you who do do meditation, it works wonderful, wonderfully uh, in terms of things like that. You'll just know what to do. And if you don't, then just go with your gut. <laughs> go with your gut feeling about something. Page of Cups here. Oh, maybe for some of you, you don't know whether or not you should extend and, um, uh, you know, maybe you have a crush on somebody. Page of Cups is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be that you feel a certain kind of way about somebody but you're not really sure if you should pursue this but it looks like you will be going ahead maybe you're listening to your instincts and your instincts say yeah maybe you should reach out to that person sometimes the page of cups can represent uh, someone sending you some cute little love notes or perhaps there all of a sudden somebody that maybe you're you know you're single you're at work one day and you notice that somebody is flirting with you and you're not really sure like are they being serious here are they not are they sending you little love notes and you're not really sure what's going on because of the high priestess being here 
So it could be that somebody has a crush on you and they're being a little bit, you know, shy about it because the Page of Cups is shy. For others of you, this could represent a heartfelt emotional um, apology that comes your way or perhaps you feel a, the need to apologize to something else. So always in closing, I pull two cards from the Zodiac deck. One is for love and romance and the second is for career and finance. So let's see for love and romance. What do we have for Cancer? We have Aries, New Beginnings, number one. So it could be on the 1st of February, there is something significant going on with your love life. Others of you, it could be a new beginning with an Aries, or maybe an Aries uh, introduces you to someone, the love of your life. Or it could be that something significant happens in your love life when the moon is in Aries in February. Second card is for career and finance. What do we have? Moon in Scorpio, transformation number 20. So it could be for some of you, something significant happens when the moon's in Scorpio concerning your career and finances, or it could be with or through a Scorpio. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous month of February, and I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.